One place we all need to go to, the grocery store. But many are worried that it's not even safe to go there. Here's Thunby Verma. 24-year-old Josh Gano has been working as a vitamin clerk at Sprouts for almost five years. His job there is a way to help support his sick mother. But now that same job is making him fear for his mother's health. Absolutely terrified. You know, I go to work every, you know, every day and uh, I live with my mom who's also, you know, she suffers from breast cancer and she's undergoing chemotherapy right now. So I, I already had suffered from anxiety, uh, you know, and that's something that's just skyrocketing. You know, I, I was talking to my buddy, you know, about coming into work today and I'm just on edge. You know, every cough sounds like a gunshot. Gano's fear drove him to a professional organizer to figure out how to get more protections against the virus at work. I was actually talking to a buddy of mine who sent me a link via Twitter uh, and the, it said fight COVID-19, organize your work. And that's when I actually got in contact with Michael. Together, they got employees at work to fight for personal protective equipment like masks, gloves, and sanitizer, more social distancing measures, hazard pay, and a safety commission. And so what we did was we got that petition, we delivered it to management, um, and we had 44 out of 50 employees sign that petition. Within a couple days of the petition, the store started decreasing the flow of customers and granted them supplies to protect themselves, like masks. We started uh, talking about um, how he and his co-workers could organize uh, to win things like PPE, paid sick days, etc. In just under seven days, their online petition got almost 7,000 signatures. We're still waiting on the hazard, hazard pay. We're still waiting on our safety committee to be established. Their method to fight for these accommodations? Phone calls to corporate headquarters. We reached out to Sprouts for comment. In a statement which reads in part, they've installed plexiglass register barriers at the register, created a COVID-19 relief fund for team members, and now they're requiring team members to wear gloves, masks, and take a health screening questionnaire, and they're offering up to 14 days paid time off. Meanwhile, other national stores serving the Valley have also taken steps to support their employees and customers. Not all have adopted the same steps that Sprout employees wanted. We reached out to Target, Walmart, and HEB to see what they're doing as well. At Walmart, they're limiting how many people can be in the store at once, and they've installed PlexiGuard barriers. At Target, $300 million investment in added wages, a new paid leave program, bonus payouts, and relief fund contributions. Meanwhile, HEB, which was the first grocery chain in the Valley to take steps to social distance, also has pay raises for their employees, limited the amount of people inside the store, and installed shields where baggers and checkers are. Gano says right now Sprouts workers are happy with what he says is a win by getting masks, gloves, and sanitizer. But he and his partners will continue pursuing more protections. For more information on what each company is doing, be sure to go to their websites. They all have a section dedicated to COVID-19. Thunvi Verma, Channel 5 News at 10.